All right, it's um, it's five o'clock. If we're good, we can go ahead and uh, call this meeting to order. Um, Laura would actually before we get started, I just want to announce that this meeting is being audio and video recorded, um, including all who are on it. Laura, do you mind calling the roll? Sure. Councillor Foster here. Councillor Labarge here. And Councillor Perry here. Thank you. We have a pretty brief agenda this evening, so I appreciate you being here. Um, the first order of business is we actually have, oh, excuse me, public comment, um, but seeing no members of the public here, we will move on to um, the minutes of our getting caught up here, September 6th, November 7th, and November 22nd meetings. Um, and assuming there is no individual discussion, we could consider them as a group. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to um, approve the minutes of September 6th, November 7th, November 22nd of the year 2022 with as a group. I will second that. Okay, so the motion's made by Councilor Labarge, seconded by Councilor Perry. And any discussion on um, those three groups of minutes? Okay, um, so Laura, if you could call the roll on approval. Sure. Councillor Foster. Yes. Um, Councillor Labarge. Yes. And Councillor Perry. Yes. Okay, great. That motion passes three to zero, which brings us up to item five, items referred to committee. Um, we have just one tonight, which is the uh, <laughs> item 22.205, appointment to the Human Rights Commission. Um, this was referred by city council on December 1st, 2022. Um, and the appointment to consider is Alton McCray of 80 Damon Road, number 8201, uh, for a term of July 2022 to June 2025 to fill a vacancy. And Councillor Perry, I know you had a chance to speak with Alton. Yes, um, thank you. I had a pleasure talking to Alton. It was, you know, I, I really do enjoy talking with anyone who is uh, looking into serving the city. Uh, but Alton was also excited to meet me as well. So we had a really nice fun back and forth. Um, as Councilor Foster had informed me prior to talking, uh, Alton had actually met uh, the chair, Megan, um, at an event that Councilor Foster put on. And um, he, it, when presented the opportunity, he was very excited and immediately applied. Uh, he has lived in the area about 12 years. Um, he lived in Amherst for a bit, but he came to this area uh, because of the VA. He's a vet. Uh, and has done a lot of advocacy work uh, with the VA and really feels that um, that previous advocacy work plus his passion for the city uh, will make him a great choice for the Human Rights uh, Commission. Um, and we, we talked about just some some issues of diversity, uh, why it is important for you know a diverse group of people to be a part of these commissions. Um, and and he, he also noted that Another motivator was, you know, he, he unfortunately had some interactions, a racial interaction with the police, uh, which really struck him, um, you know, and unfortunately, while it was a negative interaction, um, instead of letting that turn him away from helping the city, he really thought that that was another call for him to um, have a voice for many people. So uh, with that being said, I can do nothing but give uh, Mr. McRae a positive recommendation. I'll so, second that. A positive recommendation made by Councillor Perry, seconded by Councillor Labarge. Um, any discussion on this recommendation? Okay, I'm just going to jump in real quick to say, Councillor Perry, thank you so much for interviewing him. And um, you know, I've been following uh, some of the discussions in the select committee, um, in particular around the appointment and city services role. And so um, I'm especially pleased that this is an appointment where um, I know the chair of the Human Rights Commission actually invited this person in and has been a part of this process. And, um, uh, you know, I know Alton in uh, another capacity um, through work and, and he's a good guy. And I really appreciate his, um, you know, desire to serve on the Human Rights Commission. I think he'll be a great asset, so, yeah. Okay, um, if no further discussion, then Laura, could you call the roll on the appointment of Alton McRae to the Human Rights Commission? Sure, Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Perry. Yes. And Councillor Foster. Yes. 
Uh, so that motion passes three to zero, um, which brings us to new business. I do not have any new business, but yes, Council Labarge, you do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a couple. Yeah. Um, is there a possibility we could have our director of the Department of Public Works to come forth on city service and give us an update on the 19 positions she's short of? I just talked with her a couple of weeks. Last year, it was 17. She was up to 19 a couple of weeks ago, oh. having a very difficult time getting them filled. Plus, she's even upgraded on the salaries. And I talked with a resident of mine on Cardinal Way, who's an assistant director in Chicopee, having the same problem. Yeah, I believe it's, it's national. Um, but you know, certainly we can we can reach out to the mayor's office um, on that. And I also would like an update, if possible. I'm shocked to hear about Sean Donovan no longer working for the city. I just found that out today. Oh, wow. and yes, you know, apparently it was sent out on an email, and I've been very busy with family. So, anyways, um, I'd like to know what the mayor expectations are on filling that position? That may be a uh, Commissioner O'Leary question. Um, yeah, you're but right. Laura, yeah, and, and actually an update, because I, I do have constituents um, who are eager for an update on the Department of Community Care. I'm, I'm sure many of us are, um, you know, so, so certainly we could reach out to Commissioner O'Leary as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Councillor. Um, Councillor Perry, do you have any new business? Uh, not that I can think of. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm no drawing it now, but the, it's just the start of the year, so I'm sure there will be something for me to. Oh, there'll be a lot. <laughs> there will be something. I know it today. I was like a little like, whoa, here we are. Um, so, <laughs> uh, new business will arise, but Councillor Labarge will follow up on on your two items. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, if there is no further new business, uh, then. We'll entertain a motion on item seven. Oh, well, I will make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Okay, motion made by Councillor Perry, seconded by Councillor Labarge. Laura, would you call the roll on adjournment, please? Sure. Councillor Perry. Yes. Councillor Foster. Yes. And Councillor Labarge. Yes. Okay, that passes three to zero. It's uh, And we are adjourned. Thank you so much.